What's going on, people? It's Lex, your rogue philosopher and spiritual instigator. Two sane people should be able to agree upon what's real, right? Especially if those two people are scientists and they use rigorous techniques and highly specialized and fine-tuned equipment to measure something. But a long-time thought experiment turned actual experiment recently has challenged the notion that we have only one objective reality. So here's the gist of it. Take a photon and measure its polarization, which will be either horizontal or vertical, or take an electron and measure its spin using a spin detector, and you'll know whether it's spin up by one half or spin down by one half. Once known, those are inextricable features of the photon or electron, but another person looking at that particle, without measuring it of course, must say that the electron or the photon are in a superposition of both vertical and horizontal polarities, or in a superposition of both up and down states. To the person that measured the spin or the polarization and has that information, the reality that there's only one state for a given particle is unquestionable, and that truth of the particle's spin or polarization will never change. To the person that has yet to measure, even though they know a measurement has already been made, the reality that there are two potential states or possibilities for a given particle is unquestioned. Knowing the measurement of a group of photons polarity has occurred, but not yet knowing the results means that we can run a bunch of these measured photons through an interference experiment, and that experiment will indeed tell us that the photons are in a superposition of both horizontal and vertical states, seemingly only because we don't have the measurement ourselves, we don't have the information or the knowledge directly. So both the person with the measurement results about the particle and us without those measurement results are both absolutely correct in the reality that we experience about the particle. The particle is in both a defined state and a superposition of states simultaneously. It just depends on who you ask. But how is this true? I mean, we know it's true quantum mechanically, but is it true philosophically outside of a scientific theory? Unfortunately, in my opinion, the answer is yes. I don't believe that reality is exclusive, although I will still hold that truth is singular. The way you view this, the way you view which reality is more primary and more dominant, really depends on how you view reality itself as dependent upon human minds and our existence or completely independent of us and our existence. If you think reality is something that simply exists, then the person that obtained the measurement results about the particle is experiencing a more primary, a more dominant, or a more true and accurate reality than the person that didn't because they've uncovered or discovered or learned something that existed independent of human involvement and human existence potentially. If you think reality is dependent upon human minds, human interaction, human involvement, and potentially even human consciousness, then the unmeasured superposition of states of a particle are equally as real as the measured defined states of a particle until we know directly. Until we measure, experience, or know something directly for ourselves, then we exist in a reality where both possibilities are equal. So, in a sense, there are two objective realities. But I'd like to add a little wrinkle to this whole concept of superposition and the notion that human involvement, human interaction, human consciousness even, creates reality. Can we be certain that at some point, in the universe's history, if not right now, something or someone doesn't have perfect and exact information about all states of all particles in existence. And if that's the case, then that something or someone has already collapsed all wave functions and has already brought all realities into existence. So we have nothing to do but discover or uncover the actual realities about these particles that existed prior to our measurements. We aren't bringing a superposition to a defined state. We're simply discovering a pre-existing defined state. At least that's something to ponder or something to think about. As you can see, there's not a lot of certainty on the matter of objective reality. And with quantum mechanics, having events and measurements being open to interpretation, it just makes it harder for people to understand and to accept. And it also leaves the door open for a lot of unskilled speculation and a lot of woo. If you want to read more about this, I'll put a couple of links in the description below, but let me know what you think about objective reality. Is it something that we create? Is it something that is dependent upon us? Or is it something that just simply exists and that we merely inhabit? Let me know. Either way, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe as always, and I'll see you on the next one. You have a great day. Later.